Hey everybody, this is Mr. V and this is topic 9.9 .9 on endangered species in leaves review video. So remember that species can have different factors involved in why they decline. Um, they can be excessively hunted, have limited diets, be outcompeted, basically be specialists, right? Um, and so here you can see that some of the causes for amphibian decline have uh, gone up. You can see the habitat change is a big one, pesticides, invasives, um, emerging infectious diseases, uh, they're dealing with chytrid fungus in amphibian populations. So there's many different factors that can be involved in all this. Now, not every species is considered endangered. Some native species can adapt to changes, some will migrate or move. The generalists tend to do really well. You see this with things like raccoons um, and other very common general species. And so one of the things that's going to be a big um, factor is going to be the behavior and the fitness of these organisms, right? Whether or not they can compete, whether or not they can uh, look for territory or food, or um, successfully find their mates, right? Um, and of course, these selective pressures can lead to extinction. So there's always a natural extinction rate, but an endangered uh, species or extinct species can't really match up to those uh, selective pressures. So many ways to prevent these are going to be through criminalizing poaching so that people don't go and hunt or grab whatever they want, um, legislation to block some of those things, and protecting animal habitats is probably the biggest one. Because the larger the habitat you protect, the more species, and of course, as we know, more biodiversity is better for species in the long term. So if you take a look, make sure we know the legislative examples. These are going to be really important. Um, in this case, internationally, you can talk about the CITES Treaty. That's the Convention of International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora, or we call it CITES. Um, this is basically the one that says that um, we're banning endangered species trade globally. Or you can use the um, Endangered Species Act, which is a law here in the United States, that basically says you're protecting species and it provides resources and um, sometimes um, saves habitat or funds for the return of that species. So a good example of this is the California condor. The California condor has one of the largest wingspans on the planet. Uh, it was very near extinction, but the Endangered Species Act um, labeled as endangered, saved certain habitat for it, and then it provided funding for certain zoos to be able to provide uh, a breeding program to help bring those condors back. So in the 1980s and 90s, they were doing very poorly, but then now their numbers have jumped uh, it's pretty well in, since the time of the Endangered Species Act. So here's some other resources you can use to help you out with this. And hopefully that's helpful and hopefully this has been helpful. Thank you.